Hey, what's up guys? BVHD here, and I'm back with another Skillicious squad. Sorry there's not been any uploads over the weekend. I've been very busy with work, as it's only a temporary job, part-time temporary job, up until Christmas. Um, but you guys don't really care about that. And this time, I decided to go with um, the goals. I decided to put goals into this, because I know you guys enjoy it. And I would say these are probably the best goals I've scored for a Skillicious squad so far. This squad is really cheap. It probably costs you no less, I mean, no more than around 30k, depending on if you get one of the players, which I'll talk about in a minute. But a really solid team and great for skilling with, as well as winning games, which is obviously important and what you want to be able to do. You know, I really enjoyed using this team. So it's got some really solid um, defensive players and also attacking players. And we'll just get on to the team now. Anyway, the first play we've got, the goalkeeper here, is um, Ruffair. I, I presume you pronounce it like that. Uh, it's a really solid stats on card there. You can see his reflexes being the standout one as well as his diving. And he does have all-round really good stats for a goalkeeper. Some decent handling, kicking, and positioning as well. His kick says 76, with kicking says 76. I can tell you that now, it's much better than that. He has a really powerful kick, and it's very accurate. Um, really good for counter-attacking, especially with the fast wingers we have in the team. He will cost you around 14,000 coins. So, you know, it's really good for an informed keeper. He's really consistent stats, like I've already mentioned, and he's a decent height as well. So, you know, he can come out and make those saves when needed. If you don't want to get the informed, you can get the regular card. But personally, I just prefer to use the informed card. Um, because, you know, he's doing a squad build for you guys, so I want to push the boat out kind of thing and get the best players I can. Anyway, or the best versions of the players I can. Anyway, we're going to the defence now, and the first defender we've got here, the right back, is Nye. He is there for chemistry reasons, but also is a very good right back, as I have used him previously in one of my earlier episodes of Skillish Squads, I do believe. And I think I was using him in this formation as well, but I could be wrong on that one. Um, really good at getting forward. He is, isn't the dearest player in the world or the cheapest. He is around like 8k. I got mine for 7,200. So a decent player. He's not the tallest, but for right back, for what he does, you don't need him to be tall. You know, he gets forward, but he is also really good at just intercepting the ball and taking the ball off your, those left wingers or left midfielders and does the job well enough for me. Anyway, we'll go on to the first centre back. You will both see them both. They are both there. In fact, we'll put them both in for you just to show you. But we have the, I'm not even going to try and pronounce either of their names because I will definitely mess them up. But they are very good players. I've used the French centre-back before in one of my Skillicious squads. I do believe it was my very first Skillicious squad as well. But I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Um, and the French centre-back cost me 1,600. You know, and he's quite tall and a good player. And the other centre-back cost me 700 coins of the rare. So the rare centre-back, you know... 700 coins basically discard value and for some reason I don't know why the up the French centre back has gone up in price because when I originally had him he was around 500 600 coins but now he seems to have shot up a bit which you know I think is right because look at his stats very very consistent he's a decent height as well six foot is not the tallest first centre back but you know with that pace defending and the heading it just generally is an all round bit of a beast and this guy this other guy he does He's a bit slower, he's only 70 pace, but you know, he's, he's taller, so he's better in the air. Um, six foot two, really consistent player, all round good good stats. You know, even his dribbling and his passing are quite decent for a centre back. So, you know, if you want to make this team, you're not going to have any problems in the defence. You know, they are, it's a quite a cheap defence, but at the same time, it's very effective. We get on to the last defender anyway here, and he is all, he's there for chemistry. That is the only reason he's in the team. But a very solid player overall, I was quite surprised, you know, he only cost me 250 coins. He's not the tallest in the world, he will let you down when it comes to the pace side, if you come up against your Walcott or anyone like that, just like any other left back would really, apart unless they have extreme pace. But overall, he's quite a good player, and I was a bit shocked at, you know, how good he was for me in the games that I used him. So, don't get this guy unless you have to, but if you're making this team, he's not going to let you down. He's a decent enough player. Anyway, we'll get on to the midfield now. And the first centre midfielder we have, who's originally an attacking mid, but I bought him as a central midfielder. 
is Andres D'Alessandro from really good stats there. And he is there for, the, I suppose you could say chemistry reasons, but also he has five-star skills. And that is what this series is all about, getting as many five-star and four-star skills into the team as we can. And he cost me 7,000 coins, in you know, already converted into centre mid, which I think is a pretty nice buy, you know, because I think he is for about a K anyway in attacking mid. So, you know, it's quite decent. This guy's really good to use, really good when it comes to, you know, those effective skills, pulling off the McGeeDees and all that, all that shenanigans. A really good player overall, and I need to stop saying really good because that's all I ever seem to say. So we'll get on to the second central midfielder. I did buy him as a defensive mid, so you might have to do the same. And I had to convert him into a centre mid, but that's not too much, you know, it's not too dare to do so. He is there for chemistry. He is there to bring another player in for chemistry, and at this point, you should all know who that is. But a really good overall defensive player. And in this formation, I do feel that you need a defensive-minded player in the midfield, because that was the problem last time I used 4-3-3, is that it was too open. I was just getting exposed. My defence, luckily last time, was good enough. This time it is good, but it's just to be it's best to be on the safe side there. He's also for there for chemistry, so I didn't really have another choice unless, you know, wanted to, my other players to be lower on chemistry, which is not what we want. Um, so really, this he's around 600 coins. I got mine for. Depends if you buy him as a centre mid or not. He is originally a defensive mid. A class o overall defensively minded player. And we'll get on to the last midfielder. He is an attacking mid, and he does get seven chemistry. Um, it is Chikwau. Chikwau, I don't want to <laughs> probably mess his name up. But he has five-star skills. If you get him in centre mid, he will get full chemistry. I was looking for a centre mid one because I was hoping to get one for like 9k, 7k, something like that. It already converted into centre mid. But there wasn't any up at the time, so I just went with the attacking mid version. Didn't seem to make a difference. And overall, he's a class little player, a great little playmaker, and brilliant with both feet. As you can see there, he does have five-star weak foot and five-star skills. So all around, a very good player, and definitely try and get him into a team. If you're going to make a team, I definitely recommend this one. If you're going to get a make a team around him, because the team is around him, and it's also around the left winger, which I've just realised I've meant to go to the right winger spot. But um, we got this guy. Also, I will mess up his name, just like a mess up a lot of guys names this guy very good i've seen a lot heard a lot around about him from the likes of Barcelona boy phil pot um because i was in that watching their stream last night and i did hear hear quite a bit about him i asked uh gareth gaz if i should get him and he said definitely try him out and you can see there 5k i think i did overpay a little bit for him i'm not too sure but he turned out to be a class player and i've got i think i've got one goal at the end that she scores and so maybe two so you'll see how effective his dribbling and pace really are. He is a very fast. It says 91 pace. It seems like 99 because no one can stop him. Once he gets going, he's brilliant. His first touch great. He's great as well. It does say 54 shot. I think that's a complete lie. I think he has a much better shot. He's a very agile player and brilliant to get into a team if he can do. We'll get on to the striker now. And the striker is for the chemistry again, but has turned out to be an absolute monster for me. He does also play for Barcelona B, and that's why we have him in there, so that he will link with the left winger and get full chemistry. Um, Four-star skills, four-star weak foot, cost me just under 2k. He does have only 70 pace, but for me, he seemed to be a bit quicker, and very, very good at finishing, and a class overall player. Try and get him, if you're going to make a Liga Adelante side, get him up front, and get the left winger, because they're both brilliant players. If you're going to make this team... You know, just just copy it. It's brilliant. It's the best team I've used so far, in my opinion. Um, the best team I've made. I, I just seem to have so much fun with it, and I'm definitely not selling it yet because of the price, the value of the team as well is pretty low. So I'm going to try and get Chikwau or Chikau, whatever his name is, in centre mid instead of attacking mid to get that full chemistry. And the last player off the team is Eric Lamella. We've used this guy previously. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've used this duo of the right hand side, you know, the centre mid and the right back. And him, I'm pretty sure we've used that in a previous one. But he's so good, I decided to use it again. Five-star skills, left foot, and this guy, for me, this time. Last time he wasn't that good, but this time he's the star of the team. He's up there with the left winger. Though These two very, very good players scored some amazing goals with this guy. Well, I think they were pretty amazing, considering I've only been playing with this team. I only used it for one night. 
and just seeing the time of this commentary it's really getting on so I'm gonna let you watch the goals now but definitely try and make this team everyone gets nine he doesn't get six at all I'm not even gonna bother backing out but he doesn't get six neither does he they all get nine apart from this guy and if you get him in center mid he will get nine chemistry a great squad overall and I definitely recommend it so if you could like the video really help me out subscribe if you're not already and help me 850 subs by Christmas and I'll see you all next time guys cheers we should take a walk someday dream about what we could have been but I don't want to leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn yeah if I move out one day it will make me a better man without your mail but I don't want to leave this place sorry no faith in Brooklyn Yeah, I no. said I'm so gone, oh my God, where the menu? Order me all your sushi for them bitches at the venue Stop, Stop. Drop. drop, roll, continue Cause they just trying to mingle And I'm just trying to sing you a song Tell you that I'm leaving but I won't be long If it was up to me, I would see you tomorrow But talk's cheap so I'm paying up New kicks be the only way I'm laying up So maybe I won't make it as an athlete But that don't mean to let the competition pass me I'm Moneyball, Billy B Dance good for a white kid So turn around, show me everything I might miss We should take a walk someday Dream about what we could have been But I don't wanna leave this place No faith in Brooklyn If I move out one day It will make me a better man But I don't wanna leave this place No faith in Brooklyn I said repetition, rep for repetition Like a muscle man You just wanna tie me up, snap me like a rubber it's 2012, so now they wanna ask me what's the plan I tell them never trust a man unless he Russell Brands so Pass me all that absent, for now watch me change my accent I got girls on the back on the mattress, you got girls on the map like that's it uh, They wanna know, am I Jay Sean or Raekwon? Good Sean or Great Sean? Stay long or Great Sean? Nah, either way they try to stay for your dreams I tell them keep your eyes open, you won't like what you see They be here for a minute, now they gone in a week You trying to Dante the peak, I'm trying to Andre the beat Lord, can you tell me where my faith is? I graduated and I still ain't made the A list. It ain't a problem if you tell me how you feel, girl. I know the road rules, but you need the real world. We should take a walk.